Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Encounter. This mountain of prophetic interventions, God intervenes for us on this altar. So first thing as you wake up, listen to Turning Point with meditation and prayers. It could be while you are still lying down on the bed, sitting down, kneeling or pacing up and down, you can even take your phone with you to the restroom where you brush your teeth or taking your bath or to your kitchen preparing your breakfast if that is what you do as soon as you wake up. Anyhow, let it be the first voice you listen to that enters your soul and your spirit on a daily basis. If you do this consistently enough, it will soon become a habit. Don't miss it any day. Welcome also to Saturday, the 10th day in August 2024. As usual, Open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent today and be responding with Amen. I receive it. This will not just be another weekend. It shall be weekend with honey. God will sweeten this weekend for you. All you have scheduled to do this weekend will run seamlessly. Someone woke up today not feeling too happy. Certain issues make you feel slow, feel down, feel worried and disturbed. God asked me to tell you, have peace. Is working it out for you. He's intervening. Be calm. Just pray. Tell God what it is. Then praise him in advance for his intervention. The tide will soon turn in your favor. Solution will come. Who is this also? You are believed. You lost a dearly beloved one. Is a pain in your heart. God will comfort your heart and heal the pain. If that person is a child of God, no matter the age, then do not sorrow too much. He or she is not dead. According to God's word, the children of God don't die. They move on to a higher life with God, their Savior. God will comfort the entire family. God said to me many years ago, when Turning Point first started, over 30 years ago, He said this platform will produce destiny changers, solution producers, great parents, raising excellent children, inventors and investors, producers and good and product, merchants of global dimension, ministers of the gospel in the five-fold ministries, rulers in government, in industry, and corporate organizations. It is gradually coming to pass. TPGF now have members rising in their chosen profession and career all over the world. I prophesy you will soon join that club if you are not there already. Your children will soon join and be counted amount. All mothers, grandmothers, and will be mothers, do this. Lay your two hands on your tummy. I mean your womb area. Let me prophesy. I prophesy to your womb in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed shall be all the fruit that came out of your womb. They shall grow to be kings, to be queens, to be rulers, and distinguished in life. They shall make you happy and fulfilled to the end. Say amen. I receive it three times. Yes. Watch them. The prophecies I daily lay on them will work in their life. As I said some time ago, do warfare prayers on your children at least one day in a month, one day in 30 days. You can make it one of the weekly Tuesdays when we observe prayer and fasting. Fast for them at least till 2 p.m. before you break the fast. Anoint their photographs or any of their items still with you at home, if they are not physically around with you. Call each of them by name and pray for them by name. Prophesy over them. Then like Job in the Bible, pay a battle seed of your choice on each of your children. That's like sacrifice to God on their behalf. The money you sow goes directly into kingdom work. That spiritual exercise is so powerful. Do so as you have faith in it and you have the capacity to do. It is not by force no one is coerced. It is not a doctrine either. It's a covenant exercise and practice. Don't feel bad if you are not able to do so. It does not stop God from answering your prayers. August 10th celebrant, your birthday prayers. Open your hand. Be blessed. Your birthday is blessed. You will live long and live well. You will live a prosperous and anointed life. In Jesus' name, happy birthday. Right to the teaching segment. First issue today, I'm a single mom of three children, 24, 22, and 20, and I'm 41 years old. 
I married so early in life. But we have since separated, and their father has since remarried and moved on. Um, I am becoming too lonely. But my children, even though they are no longer with me, they don't want me to remarry again. Please, Daddy, what do I do? Wow, so many painful and heartbreaking issues pouring here daily. There is no doubt that you married in ignorance at that age when you married over 24 years ago. You should still be pursuing education and career. Well, I'm not blaming you. Not at all. No one can do beyond the knowledge he or, her, uh, he or she has per time. Your children are just being childish and petty. They will all soon be married and start living their own lives in different countries or different situations, even though you said they are not even living with you now. So, if you live up to 120 years, we should pray. They want you to spend over 80 years of your life miserably lonely. That's not right. Someone should counsel them that they are not fair to their mother. I counsel that you may remarry, provided you find a God-fearing gentleman that will not make you regret the second time. I know of church doctrines that will say remain unmarried to the end, quoting Matthew chapter 5, verses 31 to 32. But they should also check 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 15, scripture interprets scripture. My take is remarry if you find a good person since he has remarried and moved on. Next, good evening. How can I get the book that Daddy introduced in today's program? Wow, I like those who love books to read and get knowledge. For inquiries about our publications and my books, SMS, send a chat, or make a call to Buki on plus 234-805-6434-758. As for all the titles and make selections, obtain them one by one or together. Read and apply the truth and the principles shared. They will turn your life around for good. All TPGF members and listeners, do so. Do this. This counsel is for all. Some of the titles are on Amazon, online. Some are in hard copies. Either way, please read all my books. It is for your benefits and blessings. Next, Daddy, my husband and I bought land in our names. His mother was against it, and they did other papers without my name on it. What do I do, Daddy? Wow, I wonder what evil traditions have turned our people into, especially the older generation. Why separating you and your husband on land issues? Does he want to share in the inheritance of her son? Whatever a couple have, whatever they may have, is for them and their children. What concerns mother-in-law in the landed property or the buildings of her son and his wife? Ah, uh ah. -uh. But that couldn't have been made possible without the cooperation of your husband, her son. Why is he so tied to mom's apron and could not educate her mother? Please sit down, have a conversation with your husband. This is not right. Your husband, too, has not shown maturity in this pattern. Pray well also for God to touch your husband's heart and open his mind. Last word for all. All husbands and wives, please come to terms. Whatever you have, you both have it, and they belong to you and the children after you. Not for your parents, who will have gone by then anyway, and not for your siblings, that you also labor and have their own. Next, good day, Daddy. I'm my TPJ family. I and my husband are above 60 years, 34 years in marriage with grown-up children. My husband insisted on having sexual intercourse once or twice uh, a week. But I said no. I prefer once in two or three weeks now because of our age. This has resulted into serious argument between us. Please, we need your counsel. He's also a pastor. Wow. Orishi, orishi. Different, different kind. Bible standard for conjugal relationship between husband and wife is in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 4 and 5. I want all couples to read that scripture. You both own each other's bodies. One of the purposes of marriage union is the remover uh, of, is for emotional satisfaction so as to prevent adultery. However, at 60 and above, 
Daddy should slow down a bit. I'm surprised he's still able to fire on all cylinders at that age. Thank God for his good health. At 60, many men have lost their libidos and they are not able to perform as much. So, discuss and agree. For me, that is twice a week, too many. For your age, and mommy's once in three weeks, too few. Ah, so please discuss and agree at a middle point. I hope, Pastor, your husband is also part of this platform and is listening. So, sir, gently, gently. Listeners, I welcome your contributions on this matter. Send it to our line, plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. What I say to one, I say to all. We will do more tomorrow. Rebroadcast this to all on your contact. Do so daily. Let what is blessing you bless those on your contact, beginning from members of your families, friends, and neighbors. Prepare your communion. Take it after prayers, my prayers, and your prayers over it. Pay your tithe and sow your seed. Do so personal tithe and corporate tithing. 10% of the net profit of your different outfit. Put your business on tight. I have told us that. Then your battle seed, Thanksgiving seed, partnership commitment seed, and the seed of 8888 we are doing this month. People are doing it. And don't forget connection to grace. 669. If God give you grace. TPGF members and listeners in United Kingdom, please remitting your tight and seed in pound sterling. We have just opened a uh, an HSBC account in United Kingdom in the name of Turning Point Global. Do us a favor. Remit your tithe and your seed in pound sterling to the HSBC account. It will save us so much money on paying charges for other platforms. Thank you for your understanding. Other donors, please keep using the PayPal account. It is valid. It is our own. Telephone numbers for more information on the HSBC account is Adeola on 074-111-28401. Do so now. Now take, now take the communion. I prophesy over the communion, the power, the virtue, the healing grace, the life, the zoe of God. As you eat and drink, may you be rejuvenated. Every other thing you connect to this communion, you will exercise dominion over them. In Jesus' name. Pray more on your own. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the spirit over the communion. And when you are done, eat and drink, giving glory to God. Miracles start immediately. Healing, open doors, divine connection, elevation in Jesus' name. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I am firmly Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, truly blessed. Bye.